It's peak holiday season, but this elephant sanctuary is quiet. Around 40 people a day should be visiting, but the reserve is closed. Thai authorities have temporarily shut down the camps to prevent the spread of coronavirus. Soon we're going to see all of the camps are going to start to struggle financially, trying to find food to feed the elephants and to pay their staff. While the animals here are retired and free to roam during the day, many of Thailand's 4,000 domesticated elephants bring in money through rides. The absence of visitors has led to concerns about welfare. The riding camps that were catering for the Chinese visitors, they actually closed early February. If the elephants aren't being ridden, then they're going to have to be, the, most of the places will be chaining their elephants 24 hours a day, which is obviously, it's a bittersweet because the elephants are getting rest from riding, but then also they're not getting any exercise at all. It costs around £600 a month to feed an elephant, and that's a huge amount of money when there's no income coming in. And for some, they're now facing the difficult choice between looking after their families or the animals. Mahout Warut has been looking after elephants all his life. His camps secured funding for the next few months, but there are warnings at least a 1,000 elephants across the country could starve. <laughs> That's what we're most afraid of, he tells me. Food is expensive, drought means there's little grass, and some owners have already run out of cash. While this sanctuary is hoping donations will keep them going while they're closed, others are already at crisis point. With potentially months without work ahead, the lives of a quarter of Thailand's domesticated elephants could be at risk. Siobhan Robbins, Sky News, Phuket.